In this video, I'll teach you how to do all three different types of wall jumps, and I'll show you how you can add each of them into your gameplay to win more gunfights. I'm Pesky Frank, and these are the three types of wall jumps. First, we have the sliding wall jump. Second, the standing wall jump. And third, we have the wall bounce. Let's start with the sliding wall jump first. There are three steps. Step one, slide jump towards the wall. Step two, let go of all of your inputs. Step three, tap jump as soon as you make contact with the wall. Now this is the exact same thing on controller. Slide, let go of left thumb stick, and tap jump when you make contact with the wall. Now two tips for making the wall jump easier. Make sure you're letting go of all your inputs. This is the most common mistake. Tip number two is bind scroll wheel down to jump. This makes the jump 10 times more consistent because it's like hitting your spacebar 20 times per second. Before I teach you the other two types of wall jumps, you need to learn the three rules of wall jumping. Rule number one, look at the wall. You can wall jump from any angle you approach it at, as long as you turn and face the wall while making contact, you can wall jump. Rule number two is you gotta get sticky. If you run up to a wall and see yourself pause like this, this means you can wall jump off of it. The reason wall jumping works is because you're canceling a climb animation by pushing off the wall the split second you make contact with it. Before I teach you rule number three, you need to learn about the other two types of wall jumps. There's the standing wall jump and the wall bounce. These two are very similar but there's one major difference. The standing wall jump gets much more height. But why? This is because of rule number three. You must activate jump fatigue. What's jump fatigue? Jump fatigue is like your jump energy that you need to let recharge before you get the full height of your jump. This is why when you jump twice, the second jump is so much shorter. To recharge your jump energy, you need to touch the ground and wait a full second before you jump again. But what does this have to do with wall jumping? Well, if you jump, touch the ground and do a wall jump before your jump energy recharges, this is called the standing wall jump. But if you try a wall jump with full jump energy, you just bounce off the wall. This is a wall bounce because you don't actually jump off the wall, you kind of just bounce off of it. You might ask, how does the sliding wall jump activate jump fatigue? I don't know. But for some reason, the slide jump activates your jump energy and a regular jump doesn't. So now that we understand the three rules of wall jumping, Let's review. We have the sliding wall jump, the standing wall jump, aka the jump fatigue wall jump, and we have the wall bounce. But how do we use all three of these in a gunfight? I have a clip from my live stream and we're going to break down how I use all three of them in one gunfight. Oh boy, imagine. <laughs> now let's break down the clip. First I start the fight with a sliding wall jump to catch the Revenant off guard. Next, I do a wall bounce off the box to peek the left side quickly. But turns out he's on the right side. Then all of a sudden, I get shot in my booty hole and I try to do another wall bounce. But turns out the wall bounce I did on the Revenant activated my jump fatigue, turning what I thought was going to be a wall bounce into a standing wall jump. This gave me way more height than I was expecting, and the Bloodhound missed a lot more shots. And then I kind of just missed all my shots. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. So now that you have everything you need to know to master wall jumps, it's time to unlock the true potential of wall jumps by combining them with tap strafing. Now I know tap strafing is scary, but I have a video right here that explains how to tap strafe in under three minutes. If you've learned anything at all from this video, make sure you leave a like, because it's free and it allows me to make more content just like this one. And if you like this content or want to see me live stream here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to play ranked with new people, join the Discord below. We do custom games every Friday.